This month marks the three-year anniversary of the most embarrassing moment in the history of our country. Kamala and Crooked Joe's catastrophic withdrawal from Afghanistan has just been horrible for all of us. Three years ago, Kamala and Biden's incompetence left 13 dead warriors, hundreds of civilians killed and grievously wounded, and $85 billion worth of the finest military equipment on the planet abandoned to the Taliban, right into the hands of the Taliban. It also left 45 incredible soldiers so badly wounded, the legs, the arms, the face, obliteration. As Vice President Kamala bragged that she was the last person in the room, she was the tough one, she was the last person in the room during that disastrous withdrawal from Afghanistan decision. She repeatedly praised the decisions, and she said it led to a catastrophe, but it was worth it. The incompetence and weakness on display from the Biden-Harris administration was an insult to every soldier, sailor, airman, and Marine who ever served in our U.S. military. As we mark this horrible occasion, we mourn with the families of the great American heroes who lost their lives three years ago, and we vow to never forget the supreme sacrifice they made for our country. America cannot afford four more years of Kamala Harris in the White House. She is a disaster. She's a radical Marxist. She destroyed San Francisco. She destroyed the state of California. Everything in her way she destroyed. She ran against crooked Joe Biden and she lost. She was the first one out of 22 people. She was the first one to quit. She never even in the primary made it to Iowa. And this is not a person that should be running right now. She didn't get one vote. I'm not a fan of Biden at all. I thought he was the worst president in history. I think she's the worst vice president in history. But she got no votes. He got 14 million votes. They staged a coup and something like that's not supposed to happen in our country. Under my leadership, our nation will be strong and respected like never before. And I will keep America safe. I will keep it safer than ever before. And if I'm not elected, I truly believe you're going to end up in World War Three, and you're going to end up in a depression the likes of 1929. Thank you very much.